Hey guys, I'm Nick with Table 19 Media, and in this video, I wanted to uh, show you how I add property lines to my drone photos. A lot of times, agents will ask for those kinds of photos where you know the, the property lines are on the photo themselves, and it's not just a blank photo um, that you know you kind of have to search and, and stuff. So it draws your attention to where the property is, gives the uh, potential buyer a better idea of where the property extends to. So overall, it's a good idea to be able to add property lines to, especially your drone photos. Usually when I send photos out, I will do a outline version as well as the original photo without the outline, just in case, you know, they, they want that as well. So I'll send them both versions. But in this video, I wanted to show you how I add the, uh, the property lines in Photoshop, quick and easy way. And then also, you know, an extra bonus on how to make, uh, I think your lines look even more, uh, professional than maybe some others uh, would uh, would do it. So uh, let's jump right in. I'm going to show you two different examples of the same house, but in this photo, it's shot, you know, at an angle off, um, you know, off to the side. Um, I want to show you how I'm, I'm going to um, add the property lines, but also um, make them, uh, uh, I guess, look more 3D, if you will. Um, so first of all, we're going to add property lines. Let's go ahead and uh, jump in. And this is the house that we're looking at right here that we're going we want to add property lines. It's pretty straightforward as far as, you know, where the property lines are just because it's right up next to two other houses. But when I go to add uh, property lines, I'm going to go to my pen tool and just click and hold on that to make sure it's on pen tool. And then all I have to do is set these points. Now, a lot of times uh, when you have properties like this, usually the property line is in between the driveways like this. So I'm just going to set, set it to right about here. And they actually have a little boat, a boat ramp right here. So I'm gonna bring this all the way out to right there. Now I can come back and add some points if I need to. So I'm just gonna do a rough outline and follow this all the way out to right about, right about there to the road and then go ahead and connect it. Um, that looks pretty good. Let's see, going all the way through. So let's go ahead and run run with that. I may want to move this over a little bit. So let's go ahead and jump over to convert. Actually, what we can do is go over here and we're going to hold down our command, our command uh, button and click on this point and just drag it so we can adjust if we need to. So let's adjust it a little bit more, a little bit more that way. All right. That looks pretty good. These lines look pretty good. All of that looks good. All right, cool. So now let's go ahead and add a layer. We don't want to, what we're going to be doing is we're going to add a stroke to this, to this uh, line. Whoops, that we made. So we don't want to do that on the background itself, um, on the picture itself, because we want to be able to change things um, if we need to. So we're going to add a layer. And then while we have that pen tool, we're going to just, you know, right click on it and go to stroke path. Now, before we hit stroke path, some, well, when we click on this, it's going to say, okay, use the brush tool. Well, we need to make sure that our brush tool is um, the right thickness and the right color. So if we hit B or go over to the brush tool right here, right now it's set to 50. That's a little big. So what it's going to do is basically add that line, uh, use the brush tool to create the line. So that's a pretty big line right there. Even if you back it up, that's still a pretty big line. So we can go up here. Oops, go up here and bring that down. Usually, usually I say about 20 is usually a good a good thickness. Um, so 20 pixels, and then we're gonna make sure that we're on white. Now, of course, you can do any color you want. Yellow, I've seen some some people do yellow or black depending on you know the contrast of what's what's around you. But I'm gonna use white for this example. So we have our thickness set to 20 pixels and our color set to white. So now we can hit our pen tool. Let's go hit P or go back to our pen tool right there and click on that line. Make sure we're on that layer. Click on that line, right click on that line and go to stroke path. We're going to use the brush tool to stroke that path. And now it's going to add a line just like that. Pretty, pretty easy. Now here's the here's the other uh, thing that I, I told you about um, at first. It, how to make it look a little bit more 3D or embedded into the picture, and that is we're going to remove see because we have the line going up over this house, and of course you know what we're going to do is 
erase part of this line right here so that it looks like it goes behind the house. Erase some part of the line right here so it goes you know behind this house so it just looks a little bit more um, you know embedded um, you know into uh, into into the picture. So how we're gonna do that is go down to add a mask. So this is I guess this is called a non-destructive way so that uh, you know, we can make changes to it and if, and if we mess up we can go back and and fix it. Uh, it's not, you know, once we erase it, oh, it's gone, I have to start all over again. So this is the non-destructive way to uh, remove part of the line. So we added a mask, and so we're going to hit B, go over, make sure our, our tool is selected, and we're going to make this black. So what's going to happen is we're going to hit X, and we can flip that, or you can hit this arrow, and make sure that we're on, we're using the black black color so what black is going to do is going to remove whatever is on this layer it's going to create a mask so if i do this it's going to mask over that so i'm going to hit the bracket tool right here just make our make our uh, brush a little bit bigger to uh so it doesn't take forever but i'm just gonna basically go here and run it right about there Let's maybe zoom in a little bit and we can lower our brush size. That looks, that looks all right. Cool. All right. That looks good. Let me, let's get rid of some of that. So now it looks behind it. Now, if you wanted to, you know, do this around the plants, you know, by all means you could, I'm not going to worry about that. So let's go back up here and we'll do the same for over here. Follow that line. And uh, an easy way to make a straight line is set the point, tap, and then hold shift and it'll do that. Now let's see, is like maybe we did a little bit too far right here. So what we can do is lower that brush size and hit x or hit that hit that uh, double arrow and b click on white and what white is going to do is just add a little bit of that back so if we right there that looks good let's hit x and we'll switch back to black and That looks good. So now, to me, that looks a little, you know a lot better, a lot more professional to have the lines go behind the house. Um, so overall, I like how that looks. Let's zoom all the way back out. We can see, you know, it's easy. We can see the lines here. Let's click off of there. We can see the lines. The blue is going to go away, um, but that looks. Um, you know, overall, that looks good, quick and easy, uh, especially if I'm taking, you know, six to eight photos, I can easily pop in here and, uh, and do the outlines really quickly. The reason why I'm not doing a, um, uh, a square, basically doing like an outline of a square right here, where I do negative, or I just do no fill, where the you know fill will be or the stroke will be white and the fill will be you know zero and we'll add some you know we'll add like that and then take that piece and and try to match it or you'll right click or go to free transform and try to move this not free transform perspective and try to move this into place is that it just you know you, you just get caught up in in uh here we do a distort you know i've seen other people do it this way but you know that might work for you know really really simple plots um but a lot of times i have to you know, add a little bit of curve in there and just it's i just find it easier um let me delete this yeah oops um 
I just find it way easier to use the pen tool. I can just pop, 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 pop it in there, finesse it a little bit, stroke it, and then, um, you know, take out a little mask, these parts that, that I want. So I just find this process a lot easier. Once you do it a couple times, you get, you get, you know, quicker and quicker. So, uh, it shouldn't take you more than, you know, two or three minutes to, uh, to add these property lines to it, but it adds so much more to your photos, especially delivering to your clients. So let's pop into another one. This one's pretty straightforward. We might have to finesse it a little bit as we can see more of how these property lines aren't quite as straight um, as in um, from this perspective from over this way. So let's go ahead and go, go to our pen tool. And we're gonna start you know, right here, right about right here in the middle. Let's go follow this to right there. Follow this out to that point. And let's see how that looks. So we need to move this around. So we can we can add a point. Oops. Yeah, we can add a point in there. And then hit our command, hold down command, and move that point so that we're more we're more on the line. Even if we need to add a point right there and move that point so that we're moving over and maybe even move it, pop that in there. Okay, that one needs to move back a little bit. Oops. Same thing over here. And that one can probably move over a little bit more that way. Let's move that one down. So again, yep. This way it's a lot easier just to finesse what we need to uh, in this. You know what? And this one can probably come up a little bit more to fit that dock in there. All right. So that looks good. We'll right click on our, uh, uh, on our line, on our path line, stroke path, brush. Boom. Now, now in this case, you know what? I think I need that needs to be a little bit bigger, stick out a little bit more. So we'll do Command Z, go back to our brush. Oh, it, it defaulted back to uh, 10. That makes a difference. All right, so let's get our pen tool back. Right click on there. We're going to add our layer and stroke the path. That looks a lot better. Cool. Um, we may want to, depending on, you know, this looks pretty good as is if we wanted to maybe uh, mask where these trees are just to make it look, you know, add that a little bit more of embedded look, you know, we could definitely do that. So let's go ahead and add a, uh, let's go ahead and add a mask to that. Go to our brush tool. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Let's bracket up, bracket that brush up a little bit. We're on black. That looks good. Now, if we want to play around a little bit more with how that brush looks, like we want it to be a lot more, um, you know, fuzzy. You know, we can, let's maybe paint a little bit of that back so there's a little looks like it's a little bit more shadow the tree coming over like that and paint all that out so again it's completely up to you you know i wouldn't stress too much about you know adding the trees in there but if you wanted to you definitely could So again, you know, that looks cool. We might need to do it to this one over here. Maybe just a hair. If we want, same thing with these. So again, you know what? It just makes your, uh, your image, I think, look a, a little bit more professional, like you, you just added a little bit more attention to detail in this photo, but overall, uh, I think that's looking good. So, uh, yeah, pretty easy. Um, here's some examples of other, uh, other shoots that I've done. 
where, where I had to add uh, property lines to it. So you get a, a feel for that. But uh, go ahead and watch this tutorial as many times as you need just to get the, the process down and, and definitely run with it, experiment and uh, make it your own. And hopefully this will uh, um, save you time and money editing or adding outlines to your photos.